Okay, we're sitting out in front of 9509 North Scarlet Tanager. And that's just a street view. This is a good area. Definitely, I used to live uh, in those houses right down there across the street. But um, this is the house here. It's kind of on a corner of this curve on the street here. Just kind of a street right there. Unfortunately, Jerry had left the premises uh, upon my arrival, so I did not know that. The listing agent didn't tell me he wasn't going to be there. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to have a chance to probably talk with him. But let's have a look at this place anyway. And, you know, it's a pretty standard three bed, two bath house here it's in good shape it definitely looks like uh it's had a tenant living here for a while and i'll point some things out it's all just cosmetic small stuff it's got like vaulted ceilings a great room here kind of a split floor plan but you know behind the door for example there's some scuff marks it's, you're definitely if you if he doesn't stay here He's gonna need, he definitely gonna need to do some work on this place, like just little touch up stuff, like that drywall, for example. Um, probably gonna need to repaint this place because there's like a kid was here and there's like, you know, crown and uh, just scuffs and dirt and stuff. So before a new tenant comes in, it'll probably need to be, you know, repainted, which is, you know, it's gonna be standard when you switch tenants to do that. See, somebody's beat, this has got beat up here pretty well. Um, stuff there, same with the wall here. I'm pretty sure there is a kid living here. And that's pretty much what the kids do to the houses. <laughs> the kid did that some the carpet, you know, may need to be replaced, definitely cleaned. Um, this is linoleum. Not actual tile, it's linoleum flooring, and it's beat up pretty bad. Definitely gonna need to replace that. Um, I'll just show you the floor real quick, then I'll back up. But yeah, it's got a lot of bumps and bruises, and then you can see the wall here, it definitely needs painting. It's real dirty, and like I said, drawings and crayons and everything else on it. Um, back up here so that's the kitchen um, so you walk in here there are nicer cabinets they did have like a they must have got like upgraded cabinets when they built it it's a little those are a little bit nicer cabinets standard from like a, a countertops but the cabinets are upgraded you got a fridge there That goes out back. Might as well go out there real quick. So it's just a little dining area right here. So it's kind of a small like uh, eating area. Just enough for like, this is maybe big enough for four, four top. But they probably spent most of their time right here, like eating. It looks like this is a single guy or maybe a divorced dad with a kid. Good, pretty decent sized backyard. Let's take a look at the unit here. It is a tiled roof. Yeah, this thing is, uh, this thing's probably seen better days. I imagine that's original from 2003, just if I had to guess. Took the little doggy, and then uh, yeah, the, the yard's kind of—it's like I said—it's pretty big. It wraps around. They got a little fire pit over here, and the side gate. That opens up out to the front there, and then that's like I said—that's the curve. The street kind of goes around that way, and goes down that way. But let's go. Uh, yeah, this. 
Yeah, they haven't done a lot of uh, maintenance on this, I can tell. It doesn't look bad, just uh, like that needs paint. Um, you know, this board, actually these boards might need, be, might need to be replaced. You got some water on damage. Again, nothing major. So there's the front again. Get you another shot. This is from like, this is like if you're sitting in the couch. So that's kind of what it looks like. And vaulted ceiling, fan. And then right through here, if we go to the left, you have your laundry. It does have natural gas and electric. So you got laundry. Again, that's linoleum. Workout center out here. Yeah, it's a two car garage. Pretty standard issue. And there's the kids' stuff. And then, um, so that's back to the back to the front there. This is where we came in. If we go straight through, it looks like we have the first bedroom. It's like, again, they got it set up for a kid. It's a pretty standard, standard size room. You got a twin bed that fits really easy in here. And it's got the Xbox and everything going on. And there's the guest bathroom there. Single toilet, vanity walk-in shower so that's like a stand-up shower and then directly across is the bed uh, the second bedroom so this one's also set up it's like, the, it's like he has kids probably like I said he might be divorced or something has the kids like part-time standard room and then this is the master master has high vaulted ceilings which kind of opens it up which is kind of nice this is all carpet down here too by the way um, tile and it's linoleum in the bathroom but this whole area is carpet so is the you know the front entrance the living room out, out there is all carpet so really the kitchen and the bathrooms are the only things that are linoleum, not even tile. So, yeah. Yeah, linoleum, single sink with like a little makeup center. And this one's got like a garden tub, uh, shower tub. And that's that plastic plastic forming you'll see that again again that's all that's really common for the, anything anything that's like a cookie cutter newer build you'll you'll see that and it's got a nice walk-in closet all right pretty standard issue okay that pretty much wraps this place up He's got, like I said, he's got two beds in here. It's <laughs> back to the kitchen. The kitchen feels kind of tight. Side, he's probably a good tenant. 
And this is just, you know, I would consider this pretty much normal wear and tear on rental property, especially when you got the kids and everything. So, but uh, if you don't keep Jerry, then you'll have to do some do some late work and definitely flooring and paint you're gonna need. And then maybe an AC. <laughs> All right, that's the end of this place.